Today, I'm going to visit China for the very first time. Now, there is lots of preconceptions about China, about the stereotypes and the safety and security. But today, we're going to find out the truth. And things aren't getting any better for China, as 73% of people from Western countries have unfavorable views of China. Also, China is very famous for being difficult to travel around since they block all of the Western apps. Google Maps is blocked, social media is blocked, so you basically have to wing it if you don't speak Mandarin. But today, I'm hoping to break all of these stereotypes and find out what the real China is like. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and to get myself ingrained in the culture, I'm saying myself four targets. We are going to find a Chinese wife. We're going to be eating the best Chinese food I can find in Shanghai. I want to find a Chinese local who is hopefully going to change our perception of Chinese people. And last but not least, I'm going to buy a fake Chinese product. We haven't eaten much of the dumpling. Oh, uh, well, okay. <laughs> you drink very fast. Oh, uh, well, you know. But that's exactly what Chinese people I'm English. Drink, so. I'm English. <laughs> We're going to China. And I have a few special guests with me on this trip. One of those special guests we're going to meet in China, but the other one is supposed to be on this flight, but I think he's going to miss the flight. <laughs> so we'll see. I think he's got about 20% chance of making this flight. He's probably going to be running here any minute, but I've got him a little present if he does make the flight. So we'll see. And then we'll meet the other one in China. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. good. How are you? Good, thank you. I don't believe it. He's made it. And we're not even boarding. He's made it. He's made it. No way. <laughs> I thought you were gone. I thought you were gone, bro. I no, no, I couldn't miss the flight to Shanghai. I got your present. Oh, this is if you made it. If you didn't make it, I'd be having that. Did you already take one down? <laughs> no, no, I'm. I got the Pepsi. Chinese people love to drink. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, let's try a little one of these out, a little Budweiser. Hello, hello, American beer. Right? You know what we do with an American beer? We American it. Slam, slam, slam. This is starting the Chinese vlog off very well. Oh, wow. This is his first beer in a while as well. Has he got it in him? Oh! In general, there'll be... Uh like what we find in every country, just a population of incredibly nice people. A much larger language barrier. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, we've already found this out. We can't even speak to yeah. the flight attendants. Exactly. That says uh, like and subscribe, please. I'm also super interested. It's a country I don't know much about, if I'm honest. And I do have, being honest, I have a few preconceptions of the place, just because I just don't know much. Shanghai, China. It's my first time in China. I'm a little bit nervous, if I'm honest. Are they gonna search me? Are they gonna stick something up my bum? I don't know. There's just factories and houses and real estate developments everywhere as you're landing. 1.4 billion people. It's insane. And I just don't know anything about this country. I'm so excited to find out. I feel like a schoolboy lost in the headlights of love. Thank you, bye bye. I don't even know how to say thank you. How do you say thank you in Mandarin? God, I'm foolish. Here we go, it starts. They're gonna start harvesting my organs. We got through with no problems. I'm very surprised. It's a good thing I have two passports, let's put it that way, because they would not like some of the stamps I have in some of my other passports. But we're here. Mag didn't get stopped because he's American. Oh no, and there's no, no we're all British good. allowed here. Oh wow, yeah, no, it's yeah, American, ain't it? <laughs> Yo, the third member, let's go. He's let's back. Go up, How long have you been waiting here? <laughs> so there we go, guys. We now have the full team. Mac made his flight. Oh, yeah. I thought he was going to make it. <laughs> Ali was waiting four hours for us, but we're here. It's and it's going to be an amazing six days. So we just got a six day transit visa. So visa on arrival, essentially. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. We're kind of all pretty clueless when it comes to China. Uh, Ali speaks fluent Chinese. Uh, or Mandarin, even. Wai Ying. Oh, there we go. Lai Dao 
Ching Hao. Oh wow, I thought you were Chinese for a minute there, Welcome bro. Welcome to China. <laughs> oh, thank you, bro. Uh, let's this thing so here it is, the magnetic levitating train of Shanghai, which basically means that it's going to levitate on here. Don't ask me the science. I'm not a physicist, but. 270 miles per hour. We're gonna to get to the destination in eight minutes. <laughs> Alia, right. yeah. the trains in Iraq this fast. I don't think we have trains. They do. They do. Really? Yeah. You've not been watching Backpacker Ben's videos. <laughs> Mac, what about the Amtrak trains? No, oh, this thing is about uh, maybe 20x faster, bro. The train system in the US is not good. Yeah. We don't yeah, even yeah. bring that one up. Same <laughs> in the UK, to be fair. So this, like. It's just an introduction to the scale and the modern side of China. They're just way ahead of the world. The fastest trains, everything's modern. We're really in a, in a unique place in the world. All right, and there we go. Eight minutes later, that's the fastest transfer, airport transfer I've ever done. And we're in the city of Shanghai. Oh. He's live streaming. <laughs> wow. So, here in China, in Japan, they have a huge live streaming culture. So, that man here, he's got no crowd here, but he may have a huge crowd online. And he's singing. Online. Ni hao, ni hao. 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 Ni from England. I love China. I love uh, President China, Xi Jinping. <laughs> China's in the bad. Uh, oh, China, China, great country, great country. <laughs> How many people does he have online? China, <laughs> it's got 18 people. Yeah, he's pretty popular. Wow, 18, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Couldn't yeah, agree I, I more. I completely agree with you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that, guys. There's like eight or nine cameras on one pole. There's like seven cameras there. And then the next one has like another five cameras. It's a bit unnecessary. It doesn't really annoy me at all, but I can I guess why some people probably don't like being watched all the time. I don't really care. I mean, I've got a camera on myself anyway, so. Here we go. It's amazing to see how China has advanced technologically ahead of the world to the superpower that it has become today. To give you context as to how that happened, I'm gonna to have to tell you some of the history of this place. The history of China helps us understand how they became an economic powerhouse. Instead of joining capitalism that the West was spreading throughout the world, China resisted and turned to a one-party communist system. By the 1970s, China was a place of widespread poverty. However, things were about to change. China's new leader, Deng Xiaoping, wanted to experiment with capitalism and decided to start off focusing on just one small village in southern China with a population of just 30,000 people. This little fishing village turned into a massive city of 10 million people. The average income went from $1 a day to over $30,000 in one year. More and more foreign companies flocked to China for its cheap labor and China has now become the second largest GDP in the world with 17% of the share of the world's GDP. I win. Ni hao ma. Nice to meet you. Good to see you too. How are you? I am in Shanghai, China and I'm at a marriage market. This is where Chinese parents and grandparents come to find wives and husbands for their children. And I'm going to be doing it today. 
Look at this. So you can see here they've got the advertisements. They've got the height. They've got the job. They've got all of the best attributes. And you can see behind me the grandparents and their parents are all talking to each other, trying to figure out who is the best suit for their child or son. So can you, Jim, can you help me find a suitable... I think there's plenty uh, inside. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, I'm serious. Right. I'm serious. No, I'm joking. Uh, but uh, I'm I'm half serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so hundreds of people. So so say, let's just say you were here, and you were looking for your daughters. Normally, individual. Yes. Sir. What 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 would you do? What, well, of course, you could, I think it's common that local try to get married local. Right. Yeah. So that even we are Chinese, uh, that we. So you're behave. saying I've got no chance. I'm not saying you have no chance. I have. You have a different advantage because oh. you're not Chinese. That would make you like a, a very rare, 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 rare candidate in the market. Okay, I'm like a diamond. Some could say, <laughs> or a thorn. This guy's he's selling his children yeah, very well. well. Maybe not his children, but someone else's children. Oh wow. Yeah. Let's go speak to him. Is he taking commission? Uh, absolutely well. So if the marriage happens, uh, people here might have a commission. It's flexible, depending on how eager you are for the specific candidate. So this man... <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, sorry, he's, uh, he's, he's, uh, he swiped left. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said no. <laughs> he was like yeah. swiping, he's, uh, swiping right. Obviously, for me, swipe left. <laughs> obviously, you can tell he's a uh, very professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure, ma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure, ma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure, ma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. United States, UK. Uh, you wish to land in which country? America and England. Ah, America and England. Can you ask if he has a daughter? He said, "Uh, you have a daughter, but he doesn't have a daughter. No, he doesn't have a daughter. Okay, okay. No, he doesn't have a daughter. He asked me, "Where are you from?" Why? Uh, why is he here? He asked me. Why are you here? No, I just found a place. Found a place? Oh, good luck. I just found a place. He's my competitor. He said you're the same person. I'm joking, I'm joking. Each one is different taste. Friends is partners. Thank you. You're a Chinese, right? Chinese. Chinese. He's 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 Chinese. It's hard, it's hard, I'm struggling. Nobody wants me. Nobody wants me. No, 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 no. You want to get done, you get out. The ladies are laughing, that's not true. You can't, I'm going to be here all day. I'm staying here. Hello, ladies. You're a Chinese. 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 What's up? Why are you going to get married? No, no, no. This is my friend. He's very, he's very good looking. Yeah, I'm going to get married. Oh, she said no, I don't want an English. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's just, he speaks English. Yeah. Yeah. He probably also likes the master tourists just traveling. <laughs> okay, okay. Like us. So, 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 my luck is not so, going very well. So, 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 okay. Yeah, couldn't agree more. All right, we've had multiple rejections and they straight up say no here. I'm, I've been rejected multiple times here, Jim. Something's going wrong. Well, everyone you offer... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just like uh, some, some Chinese will be very excited to see you. Uh, okay. like... I'm going to try again, one more time. Okay. Ni hao. Ni xie le ma? Ni xie le ma? No? Okay. That's third. Zero out of three. No? Yeah, you're not getting a wife today. No. I don't even have time to look at the advertisements. They've got the age, they've got the height, they've got the weight. This is 1983. Ni hao? Ni shi Is this a... This is a lady. This is a lady? Yeah. She said that it's not my candidate, it's, a, it's a her candidate. Ni shi le ma? Ni shi le ma? Can, can you tell me more about... She, she said that not my daughter. Not your daughter, huh? But she's just like uh, working on this potential uh, candidate for somewhere else. Okay. Can you ask her what she's looking for? Uh, I think that would be a bad idea. Oh, really? Yeah, they're like, He's oh no, it's a British He's legend. Not for my daughter. I'm not marrying her up. And look, I'll put it this way. She probably made the right decision. Is it? Ni hao. Ni shi le mei? Ni shi le mei? Doesn't matter. Can we take a photo? This is my friend. It's my Chinese friend. See, the police are very friendly here. 
The cameras are always watching. These are just this is just on a random sidewalk. Hello! We're always being watched. <laughs> <laughs> We've joined in with the park dance. He's wearing a USA top and he's just dancing like no one cares. <laughs> oh wow, it's like very choreographed. Chore choreographed. Wow. Basically what they're doing is if I'm not mistaken, which I probably am mistaken, they come here, the women in their middle ages, and they come and they dance in the park for exercise and for socialising. <laughs> I think Mac and Ali are joining in. Yeah, that's true. This is like being high school dance. You gotta like tease them, tease no, them. No beers involved either. Uh, yeah, eye contact, eye contact. It's all in the eyes. No, no, no eye contact. Completely ignore them. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ali's way. Alright. Doesn't seem to be going very well. <laughs> I think we got more chance with the couple over there. <laughs> okay, let me introduce, introduce myself. I'm, my name is Ethan. You know, I'm a short, I'm a resident here. I live in Shanghai for many years, and China is changing all the time. So we welcome all the guests from from across the globe. Yes, I'm a multilingual. I can speak many languages. Je parle un peu de français. Sei parlare italiano. Ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch. Yeah, yeah, many languages. I may change your stereotype about Chinese. You know. Oh yeah, very friendly see. people. Yeah, I like to talk to native, native speakers. You know, many people they cannot follow me. What's your job? Been doing business, international trade. Oh, nice. Yes, What's I'm your... an expert. You know, goes to your country, maybe Canada, Canada, both of Canada, United States, the United Kingdom. Yes, United United Kingdom. So <laughs> no, England, Scotland, or North Ireland. <laughs> That's better than me. That's better than me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what's your favorite thing about China? About China? Yeah. China is changing all the time. So, you know, uh, are you a YouTuber? You know? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, enjoy yeah. times. You may, you know, enjoy times, yes. And, you know, show the different, all, all sides of our China, not just, uh, you know, the Western media distortion or something else. Yeah. Just show everything, yeah, you know, very and true. talk Definitely. to the, our native, native people, please do, you know. <laughs> yes, you know what I mean. I will switch to the British accent <laughs> when, you know, just to learn, you know, you, you, you just learn one and it can stop. Yeah. And you can make friends, you know, much more heart to heart if you can speak your language. And you know that if I can only speak, hello, my name is Ding Yi, can you speak? You know, the Chinese saying, so you, no, you're just a Chinese. And you know, I don't want, you know, I, I'm, you may just treat, treat me as an indigenous people, but if I can speak, you know, the fluent, uh, fluently, maybe you'll change your stereotype and maybe change my position in your heart. Let me make, make a short introduction about Shanghai, okay? It's our Pudong North District, and it's built it in the past 30 years. And you can see our Shanghai Tower is 632 meters, very tall, very, very tall. So next time when you come to Shanghai, I strongly recommend to climb up the top and see the vision. It's very, quite good. And here, this place used to be the British concession. This man, yes, British concession. Against the British. Yes, British concession. But now China is changing all the time, yes. We, you know, many skyscrapers and can see, so that may change your stereotype about China. So welcome friends from all across countries. Yes, welcome to China. China is uh, open-minded to you know, embrace, embrace the globe. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Adios, amigo. Sign up. Yeah, adios. Adios, español. Adios. Adios. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ile loca. Ara rubia. Ile loca. Yeah, Ile loca. Ah, Ara ru. Ara big. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu uh, alaikum. Uh, buena suerte. Buena suerte. Buena suerte. <laughs> Okay. Wow. What just happened? It was like we were just standing here thinking, I wonder, we, we need like a Chinese person to give us some entertainment. Yeah, and then it was like, the NPC <laughs> came out of nowhere. <laughs> just like, Look at this old police car. <laughs> There's police everywhere, literally. Wherever you turn, police. But it doesn't really bother me. We're not doing anything wrong. So I feel good. But yeah, just goes to show you how. Uh, censored how controlled the people are in China they don't seem to mind by the sounds of things but if you did this in the Western world it would be a different question one of the most famous things about China is their food their cuisine so me and the American legend 
Nihao, British legend. <laughs> Are going to try some Chinese food. Shanghai, the food to be fair is uh, it's not very spicy. Okay. okay. By by Chinese standard. By Chinese standard. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got some Chinese workers. Nihao Ma. He's working very hard. <laughs> he just <laughs> he's smiling actually. It just takes seconds for uh, him to react. He likes me. Yeah. <laughs> Nihao. <laughs> See, he's like a. Middle-aged man, he's like probably never he had someone like me. Like, uh, uh, like Westerners in the local neighborhood. So yeah, like, he's yeah. surprised I said ni hao ma. He, he will be. Yeah. <laughs> this is a proper Chinese hole in the wall. This is what we wanted. I don't want any luxury food. I want proper Chinese food. You can see how how busy it is. It's full, and everyone's Chinese, which means it's a good thing. Hello. <laughs> so this is the kitchen. You can see it's a very small kitchen because they don't have much space in Shanghai. Ni hao ma. How are you? Uh, fine. Good. Thank you. And you? I'm very good. <laughs> How is the food? It's good. Very good. good. Delicious. Yeah. You're from Shanghai? No. Where are you from? Shenyang. Shenyang. Liaoning. Liaoning. Yeah. Nice. Where are from? UK and US. Ni <laughs> hao. <laughs> <laughs> Nice meal. Nice meal. Love the food. It is best food in Shanghai. Yeah. Oh yeah, some noodles and some meat. Very, very, very amazing. You're here with your family? No, it's with my girlfriend. Ah, okay, oh, awesome. Nice. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy the meal. Uh, places like this is also like people living around, so walk around, so they like definitely understand your curiosity about Chinese food, and they appreciate that eating the local restaurant. No hold on. <laughs> My friend doesn't speak well because oh, she's okay. not from Shanghai. <laughs> so this is what I do and then you like kind of mix up to make sure oh. the flavor. Alright, now we're going to try a little bit of pork. They've added lots of Worcestershire sauce. I did not expect to be having Worcestershire sauce and English sauce on a Chinese meal, but this is the influence here in China. Oh my god. It's like a fried pork. It's like a pork schnitzel. It tastes so good, so crunchy, deep fried. The texture of both the noodles and the fried pork is incredible. So in Japan, people love to slurp to intentionally give a message ah. to the waiters. We gotta show, we gotta show the aunties that we like the meal. So we're gonna slurp the noodles to show we like it. I'm going off stereotypes here. Yeah. There's a big stereotype in the West that Chinese people eat dog. Is that well, common? Again, I will relate to the topic we had earlier. When I speak about Chinese food, that's 1.4 billion people, the food they eat. Yeah. When I speak about Chinese people, that's also again the, the 15 or 20 percent of human race. It's just unfair to say they eat particularly just rice or noodle yeah. or maybe dogs. There could be some Chinese eating dogs. I understand. There could be also people in Korea eating dogs. There will be also people in Japan eating dogs. In the UK. When in the US. In the UK. From the history that if there's like big famine, there's natural disaster when people have nothing to eat. Unfortunately, they look for all the possible choices. I would probably go ahead and eat a dog if there was anything available. In modern time, I must say that in Shanghai, that people <laughs> love their dogs. <laughs> and definitely, you don't see any restaurant offering. Xi Xi. Ah, Xi Xi. Bye bye. Bye bye. In terms of the surveillance, very very safe. So in Shanghai, no matter male, female, daytime, night times, uh, you can always walk out easily because it's almost zero crime. But what do the Chinese people think about how much surveillance there is? We're okay with it. You're okay with it. Because uh, why not? It's a great city. I can go out to get my food and drink with my friends. That's it. Don't you okay. worry about anything. Interesting. That's really good. That's a great point that no one ever picks up on. Everyone always says the negative about the cameras, but they don't say about that, that there's zero crime or very little crime. Also, you can see this guy here who just closed his, his uh, Americas would say trunk, I would say a boot. You see this guy's got his boot open here. It's because they leave it so they people think that they're uh, unloading or loading, but they've actually just come to get some noodles. So you can see he's just driven off. <laughs> it's a little cheat, a little hack getting noodles and being able to park there. Next up, we have my favorite Chinese dish, roasted duck. And here it is. This is the duck here. What? Duck? What the duck, bro? What the duck? Ni hao ma. 
That's a full duck. Oh my god. If you look closer, there'll be like a liver, a pig ear, or like mm. a, a Your favorite? tongue. And Testicles? Not, not a big fan. Uh, oh, okay. Not testicle. Testicle would be okay. too, too extreme. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but like the before. tensile, the I've half of the face, uh, if you look oh, closer. No surprise there. <laughs> oh, where did you have it? Philippines. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Sounds more adventurous than Chinese people. <laughs> So this area behind me is actually where the Communist Party was formed here in Shanghai. Shanghai is actually a relatively new uh, city in uh, China, relatively for China standards, around 250 years old. But that's where the Chinese Communi uh, Communist Party was formed. So I wasn't allowed to take any videos in there, but that's where a lot of people come, uh, Chinese tourists to come and join the, the Communist Party. Uh, apparently it's very hard to join the Communist Party, but there's 97 million people, which sounds like a lot, but for Chinese, it's roughly under 10% of the population. Can you, oh, yeah, the icebreaker, yeah. can you, can you shake hands for an agreement? And you don't need to sign papers. You can, but like typical way would be. Oh really? It happens. Yeah. If I, if you still shake you like this, that's a very, very, very positive uh, signal. Because Chinese people normally don't shake with firm hands. No way. This is a cultural difference. They might oh. like. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh wow. We're at the local Six Chinese. <laughs> Let's do it. So we've got the duck from the takeaway, and now we're going to buy some cigarettes. No, I'm joking. We're going to buy some Chinese tea. Ni hao ma. So the way we balance it on the unhealthy flavor when we're eating the oily noodle is always going to be a little bit Chinese tea. Oh, we have a nice ASMR sound. Oh wow. He's got a dart picking up. Whoa. In China, we also say tea, six <laughs> alcohol. Mind. He's stealing. Hey, come back. Yes, hey, <laughs> police. He's stealing cigarettes. <laughs> he just grabbed them right out of there. Smart, Smart man. man. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a, a tea. <laughs> it's actually is, do you feel like the general perception of Chinese people is they, they like foreigners or they... I cannot give you a clear answer, but... Um, Personally, I would say many Chinese are also going, getting more, more nationalistic. Uh, we have limited access to what happened to the rest of the world. Mm. Uh, people can be easily misled, or, or the only perspective view we have is from the state media. Mm -hmm. and we, yeah. Oh wow, it's got a kick to it. Oh. Tai haula. <laughs> Tai haula. <laughs> <laughs> That was really unique though, really, yeah, there was very oil. strong yeah, ginger yeah. flavour and a little okay bit sweet from the brown sugar. Okay, Xixie, thank you so much. So as we're walking along here, you can see this car here has a green plate, which means it's an electric vehicle. And then this car over here has a blue plate, which means it's a standard petrol vehicle. And uh, people will probably be surprised to hear that the EV electric vehicle car usage in China is 40% and they're very affordable. You can buy Teslas here are the cheapest in the world because the factory is just outside of Shanghai. So it's amazing. And then another thing, I'm just learning so much on this tour from my friend, uh, Jim. He's saying that basically the uh, one child policy, the famous one child policy now has changed to a three child policy. So they can have up to three children, obviously because there's been a bit of a population slowdown or decline because uh, they could only have one child for so long. It's, uh, the Chinese obsession with Western movies and culture in Shanghai, and that's clothing. Uh, yeah. Why? How did that come about? They just. I think many Chinese from the small city they never seen these um, a posh, uh, upscale brands. Uh, it's just like anything that different from our background. We just love to try it. Right. Okay. Or that I would say many middle class they are intentionally looking for a new identity. You can see here. This is a New York Bagel Museum. Obviously, must be famous here in Shanghai, but. Everyone's queuing around the corners just for some bagels. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is amazing to see the obsession with the Western culture in China. People think that China hates the West, but clearly not. Yeah. And the price is cheapest. 50% of Tesla in the world sold is made from Shanghai. Wow. Like that so one, the, the best selling so model this, this guy here, he's a cheap He's a cheapskate. Uh, uh, that... You can't say that directly in front of him, but privately, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is in China is being gay frowned upon? Um, in Shanghai, I think that's quite uh, easy going. Young people are okay with it, but if you're dealing with a family in a small Stop. city, that's extremely tough. Okay, it's time for a beer. A nice cold, ice cold. 
Oh, that goes down so smooth. All right, we're having a beer and we're having some duck. I don't think I could think of anything more beautiful in my life. I'm gonna grab this duck. We got probably like a good half of a duck here. Dip it in this sauce. We couldn't find out the English translation of this sauce, but it's basically just a very sweet, tangy sauce. Fermented Fonsura Bing, Fava Bing, some other greens. Sir. That's the best duck I've ever tried in my life. That good? Yeah, unbelievable. I'm gonna try a little bit more. So good, the skin is so soft. New Holama? Thai Haula. This yeah. is beer, it's Thai Haula. All right, we got the second beer, IPA, I reckon. We haven't eaten much of the dumpling this afternoon yet. Oh, we still got another round coming, bro. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, uh, well, okay. <laughs> drink very fast. Sir. Oh, well, you know. But that's exactly what Chinese people I'm English. Drink, so. I'm English. <laughs> well, this, well, where's you? This is a shot for me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm not, I'm not actually a big beer drinker, but I know a good beer when I try one. So, Kampe! Uh, that's a message that you're telling... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shishi, <laughs> Bajan. <laughs> Shisha. Guys, we're just finishing up our trip with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Jim of China. And um, I'm going to put a link in the description below for you guys to book Mr. Ma Mr. Jim. Thank you so much for the tour, brother. Ni hao, ni shi le ma. Ni hao, ni hao. Ni shi le ma. <laughs> Thank you. Right, first step. So this is a full Chinese massage, full body. So first step, we got a bit of thigh action. So now we're getting a nice foot massage. They're doing it very quickly and efficiently. You can tell that they've done this so many times. They don't like to use pills or anything. They like to sort things out by using the body. And so they're going to be able to tell what is wrong with us. He's sleeping. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I'm full zen mode, bro. I, feel, I fell asleep as well, actually. Yeah. It's very good. <laughs> it's like they're working in 2x speed. Mm -hmm. Like they're doing it so fast. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're going upstairs for the next part. She's wrapping up her feet. So I think they're going to be using their feet. Oh, wow. Max already got it. She's, she's using the handrails to stand on Mac, basically. Oh, wow. How you doing there, bro? Oh, bro. I'm getting those quadriceps worked out. <laughs> she's literally standing on me. But she's quite got a lot of precision. <laughs> you can see my, my whole uh, body's being vibrated right now. Oh, Mac's cracked. Oh. She knows exactly where my spine bones are. She's like really going deep. Oh. Oh. She's doing the moonwalk on you, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> this is so funny watching you. <laughs> it's quite nice to be there. I like it. <laughs> oh, I, I could never even see what was actually going on, so they're just hanging from up there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a sport. It's like acrobatics. <laughs> they must have some pretty like strong upper body strength to be able yeah. to do this all day. This is great fitness. Yeah. I might start working here. <laughs> I know. Then we can uh, eat bigger, uh, <laughs> bigger portions of dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to talk and at the same time all the air was getting cooked out. <laughs> they are not going easy on us. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh. And we don't know any, we don't know the Chinese word for for softer. Oh, and no, they, don't, <laughs> they don't speak English. So it's, yeah, this is taken as we're assigned. <laughs> yeah, there's no changing this. Oh! <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, whew, that was unreal. So I actually really enjoyed that. It was just unique. Never experienced anything like it. She was basically just running on us. We were a human treadmill. 260. Oh, 130. Oh, Thank you. 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 Thank you
So you go over the tip? See you tomorrow. We have made it to Jing An Temple, which is a Buddhist temple here in the middle of Shanghai. We'll find out why these people are throwing coins here later, but I'll just explain to you. So China's demographics roughly religion-wise is around 33% agnostic and atheist, which is interesting. 16% Buddhist. It's also 7% Christian, 7% atheist, and 1.7% Muslim. So as you can see, people come here to pray, and it's a beautiful temple. We've got the Chinese architecture surrounded by the skyscrapers. But as you can see, the most popular thing to do here is to try and throw coins into the middle here. I've got some coins, and we're gonna have a go. Excuse me. Do you speak English? No English? Do you know what, why? Why do people do this? Uh, you pull it in that bowl, yeah. and you, your wish will come true. Wish will come true? Yes. Okay. I wish for a beautiful Chinese wife. No, you didn't have to. Chinese wife today. Okay. I wish for a beautiful Filipino wife. Oh, that, that means you're trying to get one. Nah, half. Maybe I'll have a giant, uh, Filipino girlfriend, but it won't work out. Okay, now I'm going to wish for an Indian wife. I think you got. You're gonna. That was like a yeah, clear rejection. Or even the. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> she got the old, uh, auntie got her coin in. One of the main things China is famous for is their fake items, their production of fake goods, designer clothes. We've come to one of the best fake markets here because they have actual items that come straight from the factory. Hello, ni hao ma? Ni shu le mei? Mei. Mei? She's single. Oh wow, I'm looking for a Chinese wife. We can look fancy. Oh wow, is this uh, real or Chinese copy? Chinese copy. Alright. Do you have this in the smaller smaller logo? Smaller logo I have. Alright. How much is this one? Uh this one the other people is two hundred fifty for you one eighty. That's that's not bad. Yes. You're giving me the good price. Yeah. Everyone else charge think they're gonna charge me one thousand for this. Yes. Wow. Like good price. Is it because you fancy me? No, it's is it because you're single? That's I'm why. Give, I'm gonna give high price. You don't buy it. I know. Also, give you're giving me the good price. price because you're single. One fifty. Twenty dollars. Okay. You said one fifty. I said one eighty. <laughs> I want the single discount. One seventy. Okay, let's do fifty. Fifty. What? Pachas. But five, that's a what? 50, five zero. Five zero for which one? For this one. Oh, no half. No half? Hmm, what, what's your best price? One, you can 170, give me... 170. You, you just said 150. No, I'm gonna say 180. I'm you're lost. changing your price, you're going no, up. I'm Negotiation, never... you have to go down, not no, up. No, I tell you the 180. You Next... said 150, I'm gonna say 150. <laughs> I said 180. Now you're gonna say 250. <laughs> I see other people 250 oh. for you 180. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think maximum I will pay is maybe like this much, 80. 80 also not half. What's your best price? Also, this is good quality here. Mm. I give you 160. 160. We're making progress. Really, this is good quality. $20. I think you can do a bit better than that. This is really best price. Uh. Not a good high price. If a high price is like a 400, 500, but maybe, but 1000. I can, I can get you more customers. Look, yes, look, I look we have more customers. Yeah. Give 150. Uh. Okay, let's do. 150? This is maximum, 100. 100. 150, okay. Come on, we can work together. We're a oh team. <laughs> How about 140? 140, okay. Okay, we're making progress. I think. 140? I think maximum 100. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm 150 leaving. Hours. No, it's okay. It's okay. No, thank you. 100. 120. No, it's okay. I thought I thought we had a deal. Oh. Tai Hawala. 
太小气了。Wow, we made a deal. What do you guys think? Fourteen dollars? That's a Thai hauler. Yeah, Thai hauler. And then also the Chinese wife is included. Chinese wife, Chinese wife, you can't be too far away. Not have Chinese wife. Oh, Thai hauler. Okay, so I pay with Alipay. Alipay. One hundred. Yes. You happy? Happy. Okay, good. Because uh. You make many sales today. Ah, yeah. Oh, you're making money. You're rich. No, I'm working. You know that you have people buy like you buy the smaller profit, not the rich. Oh, really? If rich people not working. <laughs> really, you're not the owner. No. No. Okay. Well. It's working. Good working luck. Working here. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. What was your name? Yeah, Juju. Juju. Okay. Yes. Thank you. If more, you come back. Okay. I'll I'll bring more customers. Yeah, Guys, this is the best back. shop ever. Yeah, <laughs> Okay. Okay, we'll come back. Thank you. Xie xie. Xie xie this looks like a robot cafe. All right, well, let's see if we can use it. Americano, that's 11 yuan, which is pretty... Okay, payday. There we go, bit of water in there. Oh, there we go. And then just dumps the Americano mixture in there. Oh. Can you translate? <laughs> there we go. Hello. All right. Oh, yeah. There's only one thing left to do. Slam it. Oh, you don't have to get out. Two years into slamming things, he lost it. Going in slower, we'll have to check it for a pulse. Oh, the police were watching me as you were doing that. What do you think, sire? Hello! <laughs> oh, they found it funny. Let's check random Chinese guy. <laughs> Those are my thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wow. That's the classic American tourist thought right there. <laughs> Start screaming. <laughs> for people to Where's Ali? The police oh. looking. <laughs> Ali's been taken. Oh no. He's been taken. And there we go. We're back at the Bund and we have finished our trip through China. I have to say, China has completely blown away all my preconceptions. I had very bad preconceptions of China and I have to say, the people are so much friendlier than I expected. I expected the food to be good, but not this good. And yeah, just like super modern, super advanced, super clean. I haven't got many bad things to say at all. I'd say like the police force and the presence of the police does is a little bit worrying, but we haven't done anything wrong. So if you don't do anything wrong, then there's no, no issues. Anyway, thank you for watching guys. Make sure you check out my boys new brand perception dropping probably after or before this is videos come out so you can get it live now so yeah we've got some fresh fits in many colors guys and let me tell you it supports the ideology of changing perceptions one country at a time as you just saw in harry's video we expected so many differences from what we actually found here and this speaks to it it's a daily reminder exactly thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video